never used this before, but it's called Duplicolor Rocker Guard. You know, down the bottom of your car. Yeah, what is that? What's that part called? Your rocker panel. Rocker Guard. Golly! Just had a blonde moment there. We took apart this damn interior an old Mac. I'm gonna start working on it. I got the new paint for it. I'm gonna do this headliner real quick. I'm gonna vacuum that up because all this stuff is just disintegrating. And then we've got everything that we took out in the back of the truck. I'm gonna have to wash all this stuff off, prep it for paint. I'm gonna get to that. So I've cleaned up the headliner with a vacuum and a little brush that worked really well. I don't know what material I'm gonna put on the uh, headliner spot. Uh, have I even showed y'all the interior? I don't think I've showed y'all what we're gonna do to it. Let's go look. This is in this Cadillac right here. So, let us see, let us see. We've got this material. Right here, that's gonna go on the seats and on the doors and a couple other spots. Oh, what is that? That is cowhide. That's gonna go in the interior as well. And then, let's see, can you see that? It's like a paisley, like embossed leather, or a, I don't know how you say that. It's just like a, just a leather pattern, Western leather pattern. Anyways, that's what we're going with for Old Mac. Gonna be a little different, kinda like this one. It's a little different, not everybody does this. But anyways, I'm gonna get it to where I can uh, start enjoying it and driving it. So I thought I recorded earlier, but my mic wasn't on. And so uh, I've been working on this, some time lapse you can see. I've been painting or uh, dyeing, whatever you want to call it, all these pieces that you see behind me for old Mac. Uh, let me show you. It's turning out really, really good. I like the color that it's coming. It's Cordova Brown. I have to paint the backside of all these, just kind of where I can get the edges of everything. But yeah, I think they look pretty good. All right, I used some rock chip. Let me see if I can find that stuff. Never used this before, but it's called Duplicolor Rocker Guard. And it's a clear, like, rock guard that you spray on the bottom of your, uh, you know, down the bottom of your car. Yeah, what is that? What's that part called? Rocker panel? Yeah, your rocker panel. Rocker guard, golly! I was thinking rock guard. It's on your rocker panels. Just had a blonde moment there. That's what I've been doing. Rock guard, rocker guard for your rocker panels. I sprayed it on this part that didn't have any texture. It's just worn off from sun damage and everything. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out. I've never done that before. But trying to just add some texture back to it and I can kind of see it. But uh, let's hope the dye sticks to it. That would suck if it didn't. What we're using is this SEM color coat. It is a flexible coating for car interiors. That's the color, Cordova Brown. It's hot as heck in here. Let's actually see what how hot it is. It's only uh, 104 outside. It's 105 in the shop. Yeah, so uh, I'm in an oven. Anyways, I'm gonna try to get this uh, a lot of this done today. I forgot to show this too, but I took the dash out and I'm not gonna put a cap on this or anything. I'm actually gonna use, I bought a uh, carpet piece that you can get on Amazon, it's like $24. And I'm gonna take that carpet piece 
and have an upholstery person wrap it with another material. I'll show you what that material will be. But I just used a sander and I sanded down all this stuff that was cracked and where it's, uh, you know, it was kind of raised. Just sanded it all down and kind of got all the dead, uh, dead spots. All the uh, rotten spots, the stuff that's just falling apart, I took it out. And the carpet has got a backing on it, so it's pretty thick. You're not gonna see any of these. You're not gonna notice any of this stuff on the top. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, dyeing this, painting this. All right, so I did notice something on this uh, rocker guard. I do not like the texture that it has right now. Um, it just kind of feels kind of rough. So I'm gonna take some of this scotch Bright and I'm gonna scuff it down a little bit and hopefully it smooths it out. All right, haven't been filming that much, but I have been putting in some work. I've got the carpet in the truck up there and I've got all the pieces that you see behind me pretty much spray painted. Uh, and they're complete, they look good. There's one piece I didn't paint. But anyways, I'm gonna show you all this. So you can see up here, I didn't paint this because it's gonna get covered up by the carpet. But all down here, it looks new. And here's a comparison. There's uh, the new freshly painted one, and this is the color it was before. It was more red. You can see that's more of a red hue on the factory color panel, and this is the brown that we painted it but it's gonna go a lot better with the interior that I have picked, like all the fabrics and stuff. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, let me show you the carpet. I don't know if we showed the truck too much, but this is the truck it's going in, old Mac. It's got a 6'8 drop on it. It's a long bed and it's got a patina. And so far, everybody asked me if we cleared it. That's just a polish, that's all that is. We did it really quickly, but I feel like we're gonna get this one. Uh, we're gonna use Poppy's patina on this truck. But, got the carpet in, love it, love it. Gotta cut some holes for all your bolts and everything. But yeah, this truck's coming together. Russell was supposed to be back today. They went to uh, Universal Studios last week and they got back, I believe, Saturday. And he called me today, it's Monday. His wife has the C word. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know if we can say that, I don't know. I, I don't know, YouTube's weird. So uh, yeah, they got that. And so he's not gonna be here this week, so I'm gonna continue on with Old Mac, this old truck you see behind me. I'm gonna continue to work on the interior. I got the interior painted this weekend, uh, almost everything. And now I'm gonna start upholstering the headliner. So uh, yeah, y'all come take a look and see what I've got done. Let's see, we've got the carpet installed. Yeah, carpet, I've got the door panels in. You can see they're all brown. They're just temporarily in here. I was trying to make those uh, bottom pieces right there, just making sure those fit. I've got uh, some uh, clips ordered off Amazon to where I can uh, foam this and then put my uh, fabric on top of it. But this door is all done. It's in here. It's got the, we're gonna have to get a new switch, I believe. This one's not working. Something's wrong with it. Dash is all painted. See, it's just all brown. But I don't want to go ahead and put everything back in here because the headliner has to go in first. This is going to be the headliner. Yeah. Doesn't it look good? Nope. This. Hold on. Let me flip it around. All right. This is going to be the headliner. I really dig this pattern. It's going to be awesome. It's not going to be too crazy. You know, it's not going to be the cowhide or the other uh, colorful print that we're using, so it'll be kind of subtle. Also on the lower parts of your seat, yeah, all this that's in uh, leather right now on this seat, I believe I'm gonna do in the same material that the headliner is. Let me show you, I've got a little workstation set up over here. All right, this is the old headliner. I'm gonna reuse the actual board, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this razor blade and scrape all this off and uh, vacuum it up. Try to get it off, I already vacuumed up most of the foam. Yeah, 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 let me show you something else. We're upgrading, we're getting more professional here at The Journey. This is what we were using to do um, all of our interior trim, the glue it. It's 3M General Trim Adhesive. This is great stuff, but it is $33. So I went to Harbor Freight, picked me up a low pressure spray, spray gun, got some 
well wood glue in here. I actually went to, you can't buy it locally, went to a upholstery shop here in town and he actually just filled this up for me. Uh, Frankie Stitch Work here in Palestine, Texas. I appreciate that, thank you very much. Now I can actually attempt to try to do this headliner. Never done this before, but we're gonna try it out. Let's do it. All right, so I scraped all this off. Got it as clean as possible. No residue, so probably what I'm gonna do in some spots where it's uh, broken, like right here. I'm gonna get some tape and kind of tape these up. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just uh, just having fun with it. If I mess up, I mess up, it doesn't matter. So here we go, let's do it. All right, I've got the headliner in Old Mac. Didn't film any of it because I'm by myself trying to do this and I'm just wanting to get it done. But I'm gonna show y'all how it looks. I think it turned out freaking awesome. I'm super happy, you can see the smile on my face. Let me know what y'all think. All right, I'm back at it again. I've got all the pieces that I didn't paint previously set up and I've got to clean those off real quick with the degreaser and, or uh, not the degreaser. I'm gonna go figure out what it's called because I just had a brain fart. Well, I guess it is a degreaser. It's a grease and wax remover. I'm gonna put that on uh, these real quick. I'm gonna paint the seat belts. Y'all can see these seat belts. I'm gonna do the seat belts themselves all this, uh, just make it all match. So uh, I'm gonna do that now. 